Good evening, everybody. Can you hear me? Yes, teacher. Good evening. Okay. Thank Good you. Evening, teacher. Hi. <laughs> okay. I hope you had a nice weekend. It's time to begin our class. So, um, first of all, as usual, I'm just going to call everyone's names for the attendance list. Just give me a moment. It's right here. There's a chat entry here. Okay. All right. So um, when you hear your name, please let me know, okay? Alejandro Jose Quintanilla Ayala. Present teacher, hello. Thank you. Alicia Guadalupe Hernandez Romero. Alicia Guadalupe Hernandez Romero. Ana Filomena Mendoza. Present teacher. Thank you. Ana Yanira Mendoza Godoy. Ana Yanira Mendoza Godoy. Andrea Geraldine Sánchez Racinos. Present teacher. Thank you. Andrea Michelle García Selva. Andrea Michelle García Selva. Blanca Marisol Vargas Esteves. Present teacher. Thank you. Boris Martín Salinas Quintanilla. Present teacher. Thank you. Selina Ivette Gutiérrez Osorio. Thank you. Denis Isaías Gómez. Present. Good evening. Thank you. Good evening. Daisy Carolina Rodríguez Mejía. Daisy Carolina. And Yanira Mendoza says, I am here. Okay. Thank you. So, Daisy Carolina Rodríguez Mejía. Nope. Eric Ernesto Linares Aguirre. Erika Maidel Antonio Flores. Good evening, present. Good evening. Francisco Alberto Lemus Guzmán. Good evening, teacher, I'm present. Thank you. Iris Regina Hernández Cuellar. Iris Regina Hernández Cuellar. Jenny Elizabeth Santillana Cortés. Jenny Elizabeth Santillana Cortés. Jose Raivin Enriquez. Present teacher. Thank you. Katia Graciela Cuan. Present teacher, good evening. Good evening, thank you. Maritza Isabel Méndez Aguirre. Maritza Isabel Méndez Aguirre. Miguel Ángel Quintanilla Tejada. Present teacher. Thank you. Nadia Isolina Rodríguez Ramírez. Present teacher. Thank you. Noemí Alicia Estrada de Valle. Present teacher. Thank you. Ronald Antonio Luna López. Ronald Antonio Luna López. Saúl Antonio Hernández Torres. Present teacher. Thank you. I'm calling the names of those who didn't respond before. Alicia Guadalupe Hernández Romero. Present. Thank you. Andrea Michelle García Selva. Present teacher. Thank you. Daisy Carolina Rodríguez Mejía. 
Daisy Carolina Rodríguez. Iris Regina Hernández Cuellar. Iris Hernández. Jenny Elizabeth Santillana. Jenny Elizabeth Santillana. Maritza Isabel Méndez. Maritza Isabel Méndez. Ronald Antonio Luna López. Okay. I got a message from Boris. Okay, Boris, I get it. Okay. Okay, we're going to begin then. Everybody, take a look. Oops, wrong screen. Just a moment. Okay, better. All right, everybody, take a look at that. This is, uh, welcome. This is Inglés para Avanzado, Módulo 1, and that's me, Ivan Doñan, at your service once again on this lovely Monday. This, this is session 13th, and today is March the 20th of 2023. Let's do this. So what are we going to do? This is unit five, everybody. Unit five, or section number five from the platform. I have observed that this section is a little bit shorter than the other ones, and also that the grammar is not very extensive. So I've decided to change the strategy, strategy a little bit right here. We're not gonna be studying much grammar. It's more like vocabulary and also speaking. We're going to be doing a lot of speaking. We're going to focus on, you know, speaking during this week because that's not something that we do very often and, and we need some practice. And also, as I mentioned before, because the grammar is not very specific or extensive for this final unit in this level. So it's a great opportunity that we have to speak. Okay, so let's do this. Um, lesson objective 5.0. In this class, you will learn about different cultures around the world. Okay, that's the idea. So we're going to learn some vocabulary to begin with, and then we're going to learn about culture, and we're going to talk about culture in the country, which is a very interesting topic. So get ready because today we have a lot of speaking to do. I need participants also, of course. So you have this. Crossing cultures, that's the idea, crossing cultures. And then we have the first part, which is the word power, culture shock. So what is culture shock? Okay, mostly it's when you interact with people from other countries and then, you know, the cultural differences, okay, can create a shock in you, okay? They can make you confused. That's culture shock, okay? It can leave you confused or upset or feeling in a negative way. So what are we going to do right here? It's word power, culture shock, exercise A. These words are used to describe how people sometimes feel when they live in a foreign country. Which are positive, which are negative. But first, I want some I want volunteers. Has anybody in this class ever lived? in a foreign country, maybe for one month or for a year, for six months? Has anyone ever lived in a different country, in a country other than El Salvador? Probably not, or yeah. Me, teacher. Okay, Boris, okay, where where have you lived? In Guatemala, I lived for yeah. one month. A month in Guatemala. Okay, so um, is the culture in Guatemala very different from the culture in El Salvador, or they, similar? They have kind kind of uh, when they going to uh, take the soup, uh, the dish of soup, uh, mm -hmm. they only put the vegetable uh -huh. and they take apart the water. Uh -huh. Okay. Another is that they. Uh, in at, in the morning at, at night, they only eat a uh, black beans, no no red beans, no red beans. I'm sorry, okay. red beans. Black. Only so black eat, beans. They eat black beans, not red beans, like we eat in El Salvador. Yes. Okay. I have never eaten black beans. Do they taste different? Very different taste. Oh, really? <laughs> I yeah. have no idea. I've never, I've never tried them before. For, okay. for me, it wasn't delicious. <laughs> oh, really? Not very good. 
No. Okay. Well, I'm sorry. You had to endure that for a month. <laughs> Okay. Okay. So we have Boris right here who is sharing his experience about living in Guatemala for a month. Okay. Uh, there are some differences right there. Saul wants to participate, but first uh, Nadia sent, sent a message um, saying that she also has lived in a different country. So uh, just, just a second, Saul. Uh, Nadia, how about you? Where have you lived? Hi, in my case, I live in uh, in different country. I live in in Nicaragua, oh. in Honduras, in Guatemala, and in Estados Unidos. Okay, so you've lived in Guatemala, Honduras, Nicaragua, and the United States. Okay. Yes. So how long how long did you live in in Nicaragua? Um, it's twice um days. It's uh, one month. One month. Um, yeah. It's, it's very short state. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And uh, what about uh, the time you lived in Guatemala? How how long? How many days or months? Equal. It's a uh, um, just the same. It's the same. Huh? Okay. What about the United States? Is it the same? Yes, it's the same. Okay. Time. Okay. All right. That sounds good. Um, Saul, I believe, wanted to participate. Uh, yes, in my case, teacher, I have visited uh, Guatemala, Nicaragua, Honduras, and Costa Rica. And I think uh, last, my partner Boris said before the black beings in Guatemala, uh, also, <laughs> also that also happened in Honduras, and okay. Nicaragua, and Costa Rica too. They 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 eat. Uh, Black beans, not not so, red beans. So 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 we're the only ones in Central America who eat red beans. I think yes. <laughs> we are the only, that, the I only think one so. One. Yeah. Okay. Wow. Okay. Well, I didn't know that. Okay, everybody. Thank you for opening my eyes. I thought red beans were coming to all Central American countries, but apparently not. Okay, they eat black beans. We're the only ones who eat red beans. We are the odd one out. The old ones out. I'm sorry. So yes, it's a different taste. Aha. Uh -huh. Which are better, in your opinion? Uh, in my opinion, I, it was delicious for me. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay. In my opinion, is is um more delicious that that's been in and Red beans are better. Okay. In my opinion, I because I uh, black because... beans are weird. They're weird, you say. <laughs> well, I don't know. I don't know. I have to try them because I don't know the taste of black beans. But okay, maybe it's for an experience. It will be good. Okay, well, um, we have this. Uh, thank you for your participation. Again, um, you have uh, told me about your, your, your experiences living or visiting some other countries, okay? And now we're going to study some vocabulary related to how people feel in these situations. So everybody take a good look at this uh, vocabulary. These words, again, are used to describe how people sometimes feel when they live in a foreign country, which are positive and which are negative. Okay, let's do this together. Okay, if you know the answer, raise your hand. Okay, and I'll give you a chance to speak. What about the first one? Anxious. Is this a positive feeling or a negative one? Negative. negative. A negative feeling. Okay, let's take a look. Yeah, anxious is a negative feeling. Okay, anxious means that you're nervous. Okay, you're nervous and you feel like anxiety. You're stressed. Okay, that's the meaning of anxious. So this is a negative feeling. What about the next one? Comfortable. Is that a positive feeling or a negative one? Positive. It's a positive feeling. Yeah, absolutely, right? Feeling comfortable is good. If you're comfortable, you have no worries, okay? You feel okay where you are. So you're comfortable. What about the next one? Confident. What about confident? Is that a positive feeling or a negative feeling? Positive. Very positive. Positive, yeah. You feel positive. confident. Okay, yeah. Seguro, eh? Okay, you feel confident. Yes. Okay, that's that's good. What about the next one? Curious. Is it a positive feeling or a negative feeling? Positive. Positive feeling. 
mostly positive, I will say, but if we change our perspective a little bit, it can also be negative. Remember that curiosity killed a cat, okay? Yes. So, yes. <laughs> I mean, it's good, but at the same time, you have to be, you have to be cautious, okay? You have to be, um, uh, you have to be smart because if you're too curious, something bad can happen to you. So what about the next one? Depressed. Is this a positive negative. feeling or a negative one? Negative. Absolutely negative. Okay. And when we say depressed, it's not just feeling sad because a lot of people say, oh my God, I am depressed. But now depression is a serious um, mental condition, okay, and, uh, it's an illness technically, okay, and and you need some treatment. You need some special treatment. Uh, most people say like I am depressed, but in reality they are only sad. Feeling sad is normal. But feeling depressed, yeah, that's a different thing. That's a whole new level, okay. What about the next one? Embarrassed. Is that positive or negative? What do you think? Negative. Negative. Oh. Yeah embarrassed right okay so yeah this is a negative feeling absolutely right embarrassed right don't look at me okay so the next one is enthusiastic what about enthusiastic positive positive, positive. absolutely right it's a positive feeling it's good to feel enthusiastic about something and when you're enthusiastic about learning something new learning a language okay or you know, doing certain activities, you feel good, okay? And uh, related to this is the next one, you have excited. What about excited? Is it positive or negative? Positive. Absolutely, this is positive, okay? Positive. There's no doubt about it. So uh, excited, not to be confused with a, a similar word in Spanish. No, excited <laughs> is, is emocionado, okay? That's the yeah. meaning of it. I'm telling you this because people confuse it with another word that I don't want to mention, but uh, you know what it is. Okay, so, but but excited translate in, translates, I'm sorry, into emocionado in Spanish or emocionada. Ah, that's another thing about adjectives. By the way, in English, it's a good thing. Um, in English, adjectives don't have gender or number, okay? Grammatically speaking, they don't have gender or number. So if you have an adjective like excited, that's the only word you need to know. In Spanish, it is a little bit different because you say emocionado. Excited can also, okay, I'm going to copy this. Um, excited can also mean emocionada. Excited also means emocionados, and also it means emocionadas. So that's one thing about the English language. When it comes to adjectives, adjectives only have one form when it comes to gender and number. They don't have gender and they don't have number. So if you want to say emocionada, emocionado, emocionada, emocionados, or emocionadas, there's only one word for it, excited. That's it. No plural, no masculine, no feminine. Okay, form. That's a good thing. Okay, Spanish is more complicated. Look, O, A, O, S, A, S. Variations. Okay, so more difficult to learn in the end. Going back to this. Okay, all of these are adjectives. What about the next one? You have fascinated. What about fascinated? Is this a positive feeling or a negative feeling? Positive, teacher. Positive. A very positive feeling, of course. If you're fascinated by something, you are very, very, very interested in something. Okay, so yeah, it's absolutely a positive feeling. There's a chat entry right here. Iris says present. Okay, Iris, I'm going to take your attendance now. I need to find your name. Okay. Thank you, Iris. Okay. Uh, what about the next one? Homesick. Is this a positive feeling or a negative feeling? I don't know what is that. I'm sorry? Positive and negative. Positive negative. and negative. I don't, know. I don't know what is that. Homesick is actually a negative <laughs> feeling. It's a negative feeling. What is homesick? Negative. Homesick is when you are in a different place, especially a different country, but not necessarily in a different country. It could be a different city, for example, or a different house. And you miss your house. You okay. miss your neighborhood you miss the people etc etc so you get sad and melancholic 
So mm -hmm. that's that's the feeling of, of of being homesick. Okay, that's that's the yeah. meaning of that. That can happen. Maybe you miss the the bathroom too. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, you miss the bathroom. <laughs> you miss, yeah, you miss everything. You miss everything. Okay. Jenny Elizabeth says present. Okay, Jenny, thank you. I'm taking your attendance now. I just need to find your name here. Okay. Thank you very much. Attendance registered. All right. So what about the next one? Insecure. What about insecure? Very no. negative. It's, it's, it's a negative feeling that's for sure okay insecure is pretty much the opposite of confident okay you can be confident or insecure okay what about the next one nervous negative. 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 negative negative that's for sure okay make sure you don't you pronounce this this word correctly okay because I, i've heard a lot of people say nervous nervous Probably because in Spanish you say nervioso with an I E, right? Nervioso. But in English it's pronounced nervous. 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 There's no I there, so nervous. What about the next one? Uncertain. What about uncertain? Negative. Negative. It's a negative feeling, okay? When you're uncertain about something, you you don't know. You're like, I don't know. I'm not sure. You are uncertain. Okay. What about the next one? Uncomfortable. Negative. Negative. It's definitely a negative feeling, of course. The opposite of comfortable. Okay, it's uncomfortable. And finally, worried. Is it positive or negative? Negative. Negative. It's, it's negative. definitely, definitely a negative feeling. Okay, good. So uh, practicing the vocabulary here, you can um, uh, say uh, practice this in your house with your microphone off if you want okay just with your microphones off uh, if you don't want the rest of, of 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 your classmates to hear so i'm just going to repeat the words please listen and in your house repeat the words okay with the microphone microphones off anxious comfortable confident curious depressed, embarrassed, enthusiastic, excited, fascinated, homesick, insecure, nervous, uncertain, uncomfortable, worried, there you go. Okay. I could see some of your faces. Like you were like repeating the words. Very good. Yes, Nadia. Please, can you repeat that? Say uncertain. Uncertain. Okay. Uh, uncer uncertain. The pronunciation is uncertain. Mm -hmm. Uncertain. Thanks. Okay. You're welcome. Okay, um, so what's next? I want you to do an activity for me. Okay, this is a speaking activity. So group work, do you live or would you like to live in a foreign country? Okay, so um, is everybody from El Salvador here or is anyone from a different country? I mean, not from El Salvador. Do we have any visitors from a uh, Central American country? Are you, is, is anybody from Guatemala or Honduras or Nicaragua or Costa Rica or Panama? No, all Salvadorans. Okay, all Salvadorans then. So then the question is, would you like to live in a foreign country? How would you feel about moving there? Okay, so if you had the opportunity to go to any country in the world to live in that country, to settle in that country permanently, where would you like to go to? Volunteers, please. If you had the chance, the opportunity to go and live in any country in the world, a country of your choosing, where would you go to? It's not a, to visit, remember, it's to go and live there. Where would you like to go? Difficult question. <laughs> Ah, oh, come on. Don't tell me you've never wondered this. Bon appetit, Alejandro. <laughs> Enjoy your meal. 
<laughs> so, yeah, okay. So somebody, does anybody want to participate to say something about this? Where would you like to go to? Where would you like to live? In, in my case, Swiss, Swiss, Switzerland. Switzerland. Okay. Why would you like to live in Switzerland? But it's a security country and uh, very a and beautiful mm -hmm. country. A, a safe country, okay, and also beautiful. Yeah, yes, it's a safe country. It's a safe country. Yeah, it's 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 a beautiful country. Okay, good. And um, but what about the language? Wouldn't you be nervous about the language? I I yes I I I have a problem one time, um, in the other country. Mm -hmm. uh, I stay in the airport. Mm -hmm. And a security woman told me, stop and put your head, put your hand in, in the head. And I, I didn't, I I did not understand her. Wow. And so I keep it going and I almost got in trouble. Wow. But a man helped me mm -hmm. and translation for me, the indication. Okay. And I feel in all the, the oh, all the the <laughs> the feeling and ancient embassy mm -hmm. mm -hmm. you, you so so you were you were uh, anxious embarrassed okay and, and nervous and okay all that okay nervous. and and where where did this happen which country what country in the united states in the united states I, okay they, they, she, she told me in English, but in uh -huh. this day, I don't understand nothing. Okay, okay. So now you're changing that. Now you're learning English, okay? So the next time you go to the United States, you can understand everything. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Great, great, great motivation. It's actually very good. Okay, well, uh, here's the thing. We're going to be working in the breakout rooms, okay? But this time... It's not going to be grammar. Normally, I sent you to break our rooms to solve some grammar exercises. This time, it's going to be different. This time, we're going to speak. It's just going to be conversation. So I want you to talk. That's the idea. Please talk, okay? And um, here's the thing. I want you to tell your classmates how you will feel living, sorry, living in these countries. And the countries are Canada, Brazil, Mexico, England, Russia, France, North Korea, Australia. Okay, so here's what we're going to do. I'm going to form the breakout rooms. You'll be working together in groups, and I want you to tell your classmates how you will feel if you lived in these countries. You say, for example, ah, oh, no, I will, just to give you an idea, right? I will feel uh, enthusiastic and fascinated if I lived in Canada, to give you an idea, right? If you say, well, if you lived in North Korea, oh my God, I will probably be very worried and anxious and nervous and insecure. I don't know. It all depends on everybody right here. So um, I'm going to send this to the group, the WhatsApp group right here, uh, right here. All right, you have it there. You have the list right there. And I'm going to form the breakout rooms right now. Let's see. How many people? Okay, four groups. So here, here's here, here are the groups. Okay, so room number one, that's going to be Anayanira Mendoza, Jose Raidin, Katia Graciela, Nadia Isolina, and Saul Antonio. Okay. Room number two, Alicia Guadalupe, Ana Filomena, Andrea Michel, Francisco Alberto, and Iris Regina. Room number three, Boris Martin, Salinas, Selina Yvette. Dennis Isaias, Jenny Elizabeth, and Maritza Isabel. Isabel, I'm sorry. Uh, room number four, Alejandro Quintanilla, Andrea Geraldine, Blanca Marisol, Miguel Angel Quintanilla, and Noemi Alicia Estrada. So again, remember, this is not 
a grammar exercise, okay? This is a conversation activity. So the idea is for you to get together and talk, okay? Express how you would feel living in these countries. I want you to use the vocabulary, okay? Right there. I'm also going to share the vocabulary. Ah, okay. Katia Kwan has already done it. Okay, that's good. Thank you, Katia. Anyway, I'm going to put it here. But yeah, thank you very much. Um, I'm going to form the breakout rooms right now. And as usual, I'm going to start visiting them one by one. So please, 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 okay? Talk. I want you to speak. I don't want people just observing. No, I want you to talk. All right, let's do this. I'm going to open the breakout rooms right now. Please join your room. Everybody, please join your room now. Teacher in in Y group. Erika. Uh -huh. Ah, usted me sale sin asignar. Mira, quiero ver. Es que me sacó un ratito la compra. Ah, por eso es. Uh -huh. Vaya. La, en ese caso, en cualquiera, en el uno lo vamos a poner. Uh -huh. Ok, ya está ahí. Ok. Hi, teacher. Uh, say, you don't visit before. For example, if you want, if you live in North Korea, how you feel? <laughs> I think the idea is to share with the other if we move to another country. Mm -hmm. How how do we feel? Mm -hmm. So I just want you to go through each of those countries one by one. You say, for example, Brazil. How will you live if you lived in Brazil? In my case, I will probably feel confused because I don't speak the language. I don't speak Portuguese and I particularly don't like it very much, the language. <laughs> Some people love the language, but in my case, I don't find it very attractive. So I will probably feel um, confused, okay? And um, I will probably feel homesick if I visited Brazil. Now, if I went to live in Mexico, I will probably feel enthusiastic, but at the same time nervous because I know that Mexico is a very violent country. Okay, a lot of people die in Mexico, mostly because there's a lot of crime related to drugs and all this stuff. Okay, so um, that's probably how I will feel. So uh, then you have some other ones like, uh, th that's the thing. I mean, I want you to take this as an example. So I want you to go through, you know, all the countries right here and tell your classmates how you will feel living in them. Okay. I'm going to be back. Okay. Because I need to go and, and make sure that everybody's working. So please continue. I'll be back in a few minutes. Yeah. Hi, teacher. Uh, I do a microphone, Anna? teacher. Thank you. Hi. Hi. Teacher. Yes. Uh, what do you say ki, um, the Mexico is horrible um, to life or um, travel and, for example, um, other people uh, uh, speak, uh, speak the um, they are in airport um, sequester for security for use um, Arlene's um, baratos. ¿Cómo era baratos? Ips. Ips. Yeah, yeah. So, um, what, 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 is, is what is the word? What is the word again? Uh, Mexico. 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 Uh -huh. yeah. uh, but what is the word that you want to know? Um, uh, the people travel um, uh, Mexico. Mm -hmm. uh, they are report for uh, uh, sequestrados. Uh, ah, kidnapped. Yeah, yeah. yeah kidnapped for kidnapped. use uh, mm -hmm. our land. Um, 
no, aerolíneas baratas. Ay, Okay, well, cheap, yo cheap, soy cheap de, airlines. ya, yeah, ya, yeah. yo soy de, 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 de Tem. The term. ¿Usted sabe el tema? Ah, ah, if I know about that. Ah, ok. No, no, not really. Es muy horrible. Es horrible. Es horrible. Es horrible. 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 Nervous. Nervous. Yeah. You're nervous. You're feeling nervous nervous. right now. Yeah, it's, it's very, very, very horrible. Mm -hmm. Well, I can imagine. Um, yeah, yeah. It is Alicia, Anna. Yeah, for me, me too. I like the, the, the live in the the Mexico because it's the, it's the insecurity control for Yeah. me. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Um, the, the other in Russia, uh, I very um I don't know conf confused because it the client is 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 yeah is trying. Russia It's is is no word is no not is um so no word no is um como se dice mojado wet um, wet yeah yeah mm -hmm. is um snow Bueno, no sé cómo es que me lo han explicado, pero lo que es el hielo no es, no es helado, sino que es bien raro, por eso no siente mucho frío. So Russia is not very cold. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Russia. Not very cold. Yeah. Ok. All right. Ok, cool. Compañeros, pero eh, excelente, pero solo dos personas miro hablando por acá. Tratemos de participar todos, ¿de acuerdo? Porque esa es la idea del breakout room. Sí. Teacher, what is your opinion de Brasil de the Amazonas? The, the Amazon. Yes. Well, I don't know. It's a huge forest right there. It's more like a jungle, technically. Yeah, and it's and it's disappearing. It's it's disappearing little by little. It's it's considered one of the lungs of the planet. Yeah. And yeah. Uh, because of uh uh human activity is disappearing little by little, and that's that's a real shame. Okay, yeah, but yeah. about Brazil, um, I think it's a very, very big country. Um, again, I wouldn't like to live there because it's they speak Portuguese and I don't speak any Portuguese. And to be honest with you, I don't like the language very much. Uh, but that's a personal preference. Okay, I prefer some other languages. But um, also in Brazil, there there's a lot of inequality, I will say, right? There's a lot of very, very, very poor people who live in the In yeah, these the places called the favelas, uh, yeah, it's bad. It's also yeah, security in Brazil. I mean, yeah. it's not a very safe country, okay? However, I've heard that people are good. They have a good heart, okay? So, oh, yeah. and then they're very happy people after all. So, and that's a nice thing about family, it. Teacher. Sorry? Happy and proud. Happy ha and proudly the people. Happy and proud. Friendly. Ah, friendly. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. They're happy and friendly. That's one thing. So... They're usually smiling, okay, and they're very kind. So um, that's the thing. Okay, um, I want you to continue. I need to go and visit some other breakout rooms, please. Okay. Um, everybody, remember, okay, que no sean solo dos personas hablando. Por favor, <laughs> participemos los demás también, porque si no, <laughs> no tiene sentido el breakout room. Sí, así. Okay, uh, please continue, okay? I'll be back. Okay, teacher. Bye-bye. I think I think this this word this country is insecure or this time <laughs> or the world or war mm -hmm. the Russia and Ukraine <laughs> I think it's insecure you okay but in this case maybe I you can say I, I wouldn't feel safe I because th there's a difference between uh, insecure and not feeling safe. Safety is about uh, not experiencing or not being in danger. That's the meaning of, of being safe or unsafe. In this case, insecure is about how you feel inside. Okay, It's the opposite of confident. Um, Ajá, es como sentirse inseguro en vez de sentirse confiado. Okay, that's the meaning of insecure. So it's a different meaning, actually. Yo, la que era como inseguro alrededor, como 
como que peligroso. No, 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 that's, that's a different story. But remember that these adjectives, all the adjectives that we have studied describe feelings. But if something is dangerous, that's not a feeling, that's a reality. Okay, it's, it's, it's outside of me. This is inside. Okay, this is how you feel. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay, please continue. I want to hear you. Uh, there's Dennis, Selena, Boris, okay, everybody. Uh -huh. What about the rest of you? Well, in my case, I I feel exciting to live in Finland. <laughs> in Finland? Yes. Well, that's not in the list, but okay, why? Uh, because, uh, well, it's a developed country. Mm -hmm. uh, um, they don't have... Uh, they don't have a, a, a lot of uh, uh, people mm -hmm. um, had the opportunity. Uh, well, I listened that they uh, trade the the foreign people uh, very good. Oh, they are friendly. Mm -hmm. um, well, uh, have you heard I the language? Like Finnish the, the language. language I, yeah, it's, it's English too. <laughs> they speak English, but they have their own language. They have the Finnish language. Yeah. It kind of sounds like Russian. Like it's, it's, yeah, it's, it's a little it's, curious for me to uh -huh. try uh, well, to visit that country. Mm -hmm. Okay, you will feel curious about visiting Finland. Also, Finland is home to some awesome, you know, uh, rock bands. You know, heavy metal and symphonic metal bands, which are very nice. Yeah, that's uh, nice. And also, uh, it's a very cold country. Finland is cold. Um, what else do I know about Finland? Ah, also the Finnish. You know, in Finland, supposedly, from what I've heard, they have an excellent education system. Sure. That's what I hear. Okay. I'm not sure. I've never been there, but I hear that the Finnish have an excellent education system. Okay. Um, I want you to continue, please. I'm going to visit another breakout room. De nuevo, hago el llamado, por favor, a que participemos todos, ¿verdad? Si no, no tiene sentido hacer el breakout room si solo dos, tres están hablando y los demás solo estamos viendo. Okay. So, please, let's, let's do this. Okay. I'll be back. do with 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 your knowledge because you you can um mejorar better better the improve improve thank mm -hmm. you teacher you, you can improve the the manufacture process so for me this is a very uh interesting topic i i am uh a lot of um uh, fascinated with the mm -hmm. with the toyotization did you hear about that someone what what is that is that a term from japan or something no the toyotization is is uh, one of a uh, method to to improve the process uh, mm -hmm. very frequently okay yes it's, it's, it's very interesting it is is it's a topic in the in the for the industrial engineers. Okay, all uh, right, to, interesting. To improve the process. Uh, yeah. But what what country are we talking about right now? I mean, we are talking discount? about the Germany. Ah, uh, Germany. Okay. Yes. Okay, Germany. And, and Miguel was talking. <laughs> oh wow! <laughs> okay. <laughs> so which one? Which which no? Which another? Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh, only. It's only that. Participant for me. <laughs> <laughs> okay. What about the late? What I about the? the what about the ladies? I, I can't hear any ladies. Only the 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 gentlemen are talking right now. Yes. <laughs> only only Noemi. Noemi also. Yes. Let's see. About yes. Blanca, Marisol, Andrea, Geraldine, okay. About about the ladies in this group. 
Yes, there is. There are three ladies. But no. only, only, I don't know. Okay. All right, okay. listen, um, I'm, I'm going to close the break of rooms now. Uh, siempre la invitación abierta, por favor, a que participemos todos en los grupos. Si no, pues se pierde un poquito el sentido de formarlos. Es una oportunidad para practicar, así que aprovechémosla, ¿verdad? Ok, okay. I'm going to close the break on rooms now so we can go back to the main uh, meeting. See you okay. in a minute. Okay. See you. Ok, everybody, I'm going to close the break of rooms. So um, you will have one minute to return to the main meeting. Twenty five seconds. Teacher. Yes. I want to say in so many years I travel travel with my parents uh, to Panama. But to Panama. I, yes, but I am afraid. I don't know. <laughs> you were afraid, really? Why? Yeah. No, I am nervous. <laughs> So you Same were ner nervous and, and, and anxious. Yes, but say, say, o sea, contárselo. I don't know because I, for me, it's very difficult to make the sentence. Oh, okay. No, don't worry. But the thing is, you have to try. Okay. You, but, you, need, you need to try. But for me, was very, very comfortable. Exciting mm -hmm. because I know the Panama can, Pana of mm -hmm, Canal mm -hmm. of Panama mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And, and Iceland Amador and the stadium because my father was at at athlete. An athlete. Oh yes. He participates in and the of the athletic teacher, I don't I okay don't athletic games or yeah there are uh -huh. several names uh so okay oh. and so he he ran and did yes, some exercises strong, uh -huh. strong okay. and salto largo I so don't, I don't I, yes. I'm not I'm not sure about it but it's like jump like long jump i believe or yeah i guess so i'm not i'm not really sure i have to review the vocabulary in those sports because <laughs> that's specialized vocabulary but yeah i get the for idea this, for this i know the this country did, did he ever win any medals yes wow the first, first place okay sounds great place. okay all right. Thank, <laughs> thank you for sharing that. Okay, well, um, let, let's take a look, everybody. Um, it's 8.49. We don't have much time, so let's let's hurry. So I'm going to go through the vocabulary one more time, and I want you to, um, not the vocabulary, the, the countries, okay? And uh, I want you to tell me how you will feel in these situations. So what about Canada? I need a volunteer. How would you feel using the vocabulary right here? Remember that you need to describe your feelings, not the country, but your feelings. Everybody feels different, you know, in, in different situations. So um, how would you feel? How about this one, Canada, raise your hand. I want to hear you. Come on, volunteers. Dennis. Uh, well, uh, one thing I will be worried about is in the weather in Canada because the, mm -hmm. um, 
I've seen uh, a lot of videos uh, about Canada. It's, it's very, it's very cold. And, and in El Salvador, the water is, is, it's very, it's very, it's very hot. So, mm -hmm. We have a tropical climate here. So yeah, we can expect some hot weather. Okay. Okay. That sounds cool. Alejandro. Uh, the microphone, Alejandro. For me, yeah. for me, Canada maybe is 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 very uh, exciting, maybe. So or you fascinated, fascinating. Okay. Yes, so, for me, so, it's fascinating. Okay, so you will be fascinated in Canada. Yes. Okay. Yes. Why? I feel fascinated for Canada because Canada have the the biggest reserve of water or water reserves. Mm -hmm. Water reserves. The world. Yes. Okay. Yes, okay. It's, it's fascinating. Hmm. Okay, interesting. All right. Well, thank you. Thank you, Alejandro. What about the next country? Let's take okay, Ana Yanira wants to say something. Um I want to say something about Canada. Okay. Because I visited Canada on 1998. 1998. And, and I felt excited, fascinated mm -hmm. because it's a beautiful country. And um, progressive culture, mm -hmm. and they have they have traditions uh, about of like Scotia, Scotia? like S Scotland, Scotland. Okay. Because they they have a um the spiel teacher parades. Como? Parades. Let me show you. No, it's not this, this. Um, Raids. What is about uh, of militars mm -hmm. and they use uh, the custom of uh, of Scotland mm -hmm. and, and and take or sing, I don't know how to say, but the gaita. Ah, the um, windpipes. <laughs> mm -hmm. Or just the pipes. Okay. You call it windpipes uh, or, wind. or simply pipes. Uh, mm -hmm. it, it was beautiful to to see. Okay. And the people are respectful and the city is, the city is clean. Wow. And I feel, I feel excited so you you <laughs> felt you, there okay you would like to live there okay sounds good you felt excited you would like to live there okay great thank you <laughs> okay um what about brazil how would you feel about living in brazil i need a volunteer who can tell me how will you feel about living in brazil I'll probably feel a little bit uncomfortable because I don't speak the language. They speak Portuguese. Like everybody speaks Portuguese. Probably a few people speak English, okay? But most people just speak Portuguese. No Spanish right there. So um, I'll probably feel a little bit uncomfortable. Anything that you would like to add about Brazil? No volunteers? What about Mexico? How would you feel about living in Mexico? In my case, I will probably feel enthusiastic about it because I like spicy food. And the Mexicans, they love the spicy food, but they really exaggerate sometimes, okay? Their food is extremely spicy. Katia. You say, oh, Fisher. Okay. Mexican <laughs> is very de dangerous, but the candy and the food, the Mexican food for a spice, spicy, Mm -hmm. For me, it's very, I love it's spicy. Yeah, spicy food is good. I, it's, it's, it's great. Yes. But I, I've heard that the Mexicans have like some very high resistance to, you know, spicy flavors. Like, for example, in their case, what is considered mildly uh, hot, okay, for say a Salvadoran could be like very hot, very spicy. So, 
that's what a friend told me, a friend who went to Mexico. So like, okay, um, I want to get, you know, some some spicy food, but please, the least spicy food that you have. So they gave him the, the least spicy food, okay? The softest of all, the easiest of all. And he said that it was horrible because he started eating, but it was so hot that he couldn't continue. So uh, the Mexicans are on a, on a different level when it comes to, you know, heat resistance. They, they really like, you know, uh, chili peppers. They love them. Okay. And that's a good thing. Okay. Thank you. Um, <laughs> thank you. So what about England? How will you feel about living in England? Boris. Well, teacher, um, I feel enthusiastic to live in England. Mm -hmm. Why? Uh, first of all, uh, uh, I could learn uh, the nature of English language. Okay. Uh, um, I, I I know that that country uh, had a bit security to the people. Uh, mm -hmm. Well, they have the best. Uh, Football, soccer, actually. <laughs> um, they, they call yeah, it football, uh, just football. Yeah. Because soccer uh, is, they, they call it in the United States only, but but in, in England, they call it football. They call it football. Uh, okay, okay. Um, well, uh, they had a lot of places uh, to get size into. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. Sounds great. Uh, thank you very much. What about Russia? Would you like to live in Russia? <laughs> No comments. <laughs> what about France? How will you feel about living in France? Dennis. Uh, teacher, I want to talk about uh, Russia. Okay, Russia, okay. Something uh, I'd be anxious, anxious um, about is, is, the, is the war between Russia mm -hmm. and in Ukraine. Mm -hmm. But uh, in my case, uh, I really love the, the history and, mm -hmm. and Russia has uh, a lot of history. Okay. And, and, and for me, it's, it's very interesting to learn about the history. Okay, so um, you will you will feel fascinated about it, probably, right? Okay, that sounds great. What about Frank? Okay, Boris. Boris wants to say something. Yes, teacher. Uh, in Russia, as the Scorpion son say, uh, go to Gorky Park. I would like to go mm. to Gorky Park and to know that place. <laughs> okay, sounds good. Like in in the song "Wind of Change" by Scorpions. Okay. Yes. Good song. I love it. <laughs> okay. Um, what about friends? What can you say about France? How will you feel about, you know, living there? Erika. Okay. If I have the opportunity to visit France, I probably, I feel um, fascinated. Fascinated. Because, uh, fascinated because I can um, talk to it. Go, go to. Go to the Eiffel Tower. Okay, okay, go up the Eiffel Tower, the Eiffel Tower. Okay. Mm -hmm. and, and I feel, <clears throat> and I probably feel nervous mm -hmm. because. Um, I don't can speak French with other people because because, <laughs> because I couldn't speak French with I other people. I couldn't French. Uh -huh. mm. Yeah. Oh. That's it. <laughs> okay, you will probably feel nervous because you couldn't speak French with other people. Yes. All right, that's good. Okay, well, thank you, Erica. Uh, let's move on to the next one. North Korea. Okay, let's keep North Korea. Okay, nobody. You probably don't want to live there. Okay, what about Australia? Let's talk about Australia. Noemi. Noemi. 
Noemi, didn't you want to participate? No? Okay, um, anyone Someday. else? Someday. Someday I will visit the Eiffel Tower in France. Okay, that sounds Buenos great. Dios. Okay, uh, you can say, God willing. It's uh, say the equivalent of primero Dios. Mm -hmm. Like we say in Spanish, okay? Primero Dios, the, the equivalent is God willing. Some people also say God permitting, okay? It's also okay. God willing or God permitting. Okay, mm -hmm. thanks, teacher. You're welcome. All right, listen, it's nine and one. We need to, to finish. Then it says North Korea is dangerous. Well, yeah, <laughs> kind of dangerous. Okay. Anyway, um, we're going to stop here. It's good that you practice all this vocabulary and also uh, the speaking with did was, was, was good practice, I consider. But now I need to call your names one more time for the attendance list. I'm just gonna call those who have not replied yet. So let's see, Daisy Carolina. Are you here, Daisy Carolina Rodriguez Mejia? Daisy Carolina Rodriguez, no? Okay. Eric Ernesto, I think he's not coming back. Maritza Isabel Mendez. Yes, the chair, present. Thank you. Ronald Antonio Luna Lopez. Ronald Antonio, are you here? Probably not. Okay, then. All right, everybody, thank you for uh, being here tonight. Thank you for your participation. Thank you for speaking and sharing with all of us. Uh, we'll continue tomorrow. So, good night. Good, good night, night, teacher. Good night, everybody. Good night, everybody. Bye, guys. Bye.